everybody, welcome back. We have a very requested video, and that is how to set up a tiger salamander tank. So, I guess let's go over the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need paper towel. Some paper towel. This is optional. This is just a, that's a UVB bulb, 13 watt. This is just a little dome. This is 100% optional. Basically, all this does is make you be able to see them better. Because, and this isn't too bright where it disturbs them. So, optional, but I recommend it. This is not optional. You're going to need plants. You're going to need uh, either two medium-sized hides or one big hide. Like this pyramid right here. You're gonna need some rocks. You can get rocks from outside, just rinse them off, and just make sure there's like no dog poop on them or anything that could be harmful. So just rinse them off thoroughly. And a cool whip container. We'll get to that while you're gonna need that. A misting bottle. Definitely gonna need that. Some more plants. These are just little two dollar hang on plants. You can get pet smart. A lid. Some eco earth. I recommend getting the three brick pack. If you can get this at Pet Smart and they'll price match it. I got this for three dollars. So it was on is on sale online. So definitely gonna need that. You're also going to need a five gallon bucket with some water. Good. This is also optional. A backdrop. It makes it look so much better. And of course your 10 gallon tank. So all that. And so I guess let's start by oh yeah. Any water you use, make sure it is used with an amphibian safety chlorinator. But I'm not going to use it because if you have well water, like I do, there's no chlorine in it, so it's safe. And I know that for a fact because I've been doing that for nine years and it works. Because I have two tiger salamanders. And I recommend only having one. They don't do real good with partners, but... Mine, they end up getting along, but I don't recommend it. But so yeah, let's start by getting a paper towel and you're just gonna scrub out this tank and I'm gonna take off that sticker. And if you get unlucky like I did in taking off the sticker, if you can see that, it's a bunch of words that came off from the sticker. So that's another good reason to have a backdrop because it kind of hides that. So now I have it where I'm going to put it in my shelf. Right next to my upper gecko. So, and a little tip is when you're putting it on, put the backdrop on before you put it in the shelf because it's a lot easier. So now what we're going to do is Gonna make our eco. -earth. So how you going? So how you going to do this? Is um, grab it. Gonna need a knife, like a good one, and basically just tearing its flesh. Not the not the green and all the the wrapper. Okay. I'm gonna open it. <coughs> Stuck. That take a little bit. Don't mind all that trash back there. Having uh clean up my room slash make it messy to make it clean, if you know what I mean. So oh yeah, you might want to shut your knife. Because that hurts. Oh, I, ooh. And it's gonna look like that. Kind of like if you've ever eaten banana bread. Little chunks of bread. And to grab one, two, just 
put it in there and I'm going to be using two of them. So just throw them in there and kind of just punch them around, beat them up, try to loosen them up for about five to 10 minutes, however long it takes. And you're gonna wanna save the other one cause you're going to have to frequently change the substrate cause they are very dirty. So yep, I'm gonna mix that up and then okay. I'll be back. So after about half hour, that was a little bit longer than I thought it would be. I have all the eco earth there. You can see the humidity already building up. So I end up not using nearly as much as I needed. It took up that whole bucket of water. That's just a little bit of mud at the bottom. He wants to say hi. Hi. So, oh, and she wants to say hi. Hi. Friendly little monkeys. But anyhow, so, yeah, you're going about, I don't know, about maybe not real deep because it's not going to really hold their burrows and they'll destroy their bur burrows on their spit on their own so I'd say about three to four inches sufficient you want pretty damp not not dripping wet just damp moist so now the fun part is decorating so I'm gonna do that okay so now I have it all decorated I got plants lots of hiding places now it looks small but under that pyramid is a whole lot of space and they really aren't active. I mean, they have a little active spurt is what I like to call it. Like they'll be like on a sugar hype for about maybe a day and then they'll just sit in one spot and wait for food. So but this is what it's gonna wanna look like. You're gonna, back there's water dish, some rocks. I have a rock in there if you can see it for it to crawl out so they don't get stuck in there and so now what I'm going to do is fill that up spray it and put them in there so, so now they're so now they're in there that's chunky monkey um he's named chunky monkey for a reason he's chunky and he's nine years old he's going to be turning 10 this year and chubsy wubsy is over there if you can well, you can't really see him. He's in there. He's right there. Um, so, yeah, it's really that simple. I'll be having a whole care video coming out very soon. Because that's just how you set up the tank. So, I mean, pretty simple. Um, you can do this whole setup for about, I'd say... Man, there's a... Um... Without the salamanders, I'd say about 50 bucks. You could do this whole setup. Maybe 60. Um, if you like price match and get everything cheap. And I mean, this is the cheap setup. Like, I mean, you could, I could have bought a real water bowl. That's a cool up dish back there. It's got eco earth in it. Um, salamanders, places you can buy them is underground reptiles. So these are eastern or these are northern tiger salamanders these are both rescued backdrop about came off right back there these are rescues so these are from the wild he was way out in the basically in the middle of a desert don't really know what he was doing he was under a piece of metal in a desert i'm not kidding and chubsy wubsy which I got him nine years ago. So when I was four. So, and Chubsy Wubsy back there. I got, was it three years ago? Three or two years ago. Um, there was a tractor tilling up a field and the tractor tilled him up. He went flying out of the tractor. I thought that thing was dead for sure. He was alive. He lost a few fingers, but they do regenerate limbs. So that's a plus. So, 
and don't put too much work into it because they will mess it up. They're a lot like turtles. They're slow, messy. So, I mean, they'll do it, they'll make it how they want it to be. So, like I said, don't put too much work in this. So, kind of let them explore around, mess everything up, situate the plants, the rocks. So, yeah, and obviously just spray it every now and then. I just sprayed it. And I did this whole thing in about, I'd say, in a 45 minutes. So, yeah, I mean, looks nice. And it looks a little small, but like I said, they're not real active. And you're going to want that light, because without this light, you can barely ever see it. And there you can see it real nice. And I just saw the UVB. It does do benefits. It's made by Exoterra. It's a plant growth ball, but whatever you do, do not plant plants in here. I've tried that. They will rip it out. They will shred it. And they will wad it in a ball and put it right in front of your face. So, yeah, don't do that. Wait, who's back there? If I can try to see him. Someone's right. Back. Hard to see. Need to get a better camera, but he's right back there. So, yeah, that's simple. So, yeah, it looks real nice. And if you want to keep the humidity even better, you can do a rep defogger made by Zoomed or a monsoon. So, yeah, I'm going to, this is, uh, I'm going to have this for quite a few years. And then I'm going to buy an Exoterra, an 18 by 18 by 18, because that would be perfect. Get a uh, monsoon, all sorts of fancy things, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you have any questions, leave a, co a comment down below or if you just want to say hi or anything like that. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And, oh, yeah, if you want to keep the hu if you're having humidity issues. Oh, you want the humidity to be in about the 80s. 80% humid. So, if you're having troubles keeping humidity... Just put some paper towel over the screen lid. Not, not too close to the light bulb or that might catch on fire. And then your whole house catches on fire. So you don't really want that. And don't put wood in there because when wood gets wet, it gets nasty. So, and most people would say put moss in there. Moss, no. Just no. Just they will ruin it. So, yeah, like I said, I will care of video comments soon. Like feeding everything so yeah like i said leave a comment down below leave a like and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye did you know if you subscribe to the fun channel you have a 0.4 chance of finding a gold scar in your fortnite game